Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to get grocery in BJ's and I kind of wanted to do this video talking about how my strategies changed to shop in BJ's during this pandemic and share what I've been doing to make my grocery trips easier because I know getting groceries and then bringing them home and cleaning them, it's like a whole ordeal. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. And if you guys are wondering what these happy birthday balloons are doing over here since my birthday was two months before, my friends Sergio and Marilyn who had the virus they recovered and they came to meet up with me obviously maintaining social distancing we met up and since they missed out on my birthday they brought these balloons for me and thank you so much Sergio and Marilyn you guys are the best all right so let's move on and let me share my first hack with you guys if you guys are going to shop in BJ's or wherever try to go at closing hour so our BJ's closes at 9 p.m we went there at 7 30 p.m and there was no line. Normally now, whenever you're going to get groceries, there's always a line outside. I will insert a clip right here. As you guys can see, those tapes are there for people to stand with six feet distance. And there was nobody at all, even inside BJ's was pretty empty. So getting things was pretty convenient. And now they have been stocking up on a lot of things that before they were running low on. So now it's a very good time for you guys to go stock up or just get your essentials. Okay, so tip number two for all my ladies out there. You guys know the struggle wearing a face mask, especially if you have lipstick on. So just save yourself the hassle and those expensive lipsticks for future time and don't wear any lipstick, especially lip gloss. Like I did, I didn't wear any lipstick and I wore my face mask and it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you really want to dress up, like I actually dressed up to go to a grocery store, just do your eye makeup. I did it myself. I went heavy on my eye makeup and I did nothing on my lips. So definitely no lipstick and dress up if you guys are like me. All right, now let's begin with my most favorite thing that I always get from BJ, especially around this time of the year these mangoes these mangoes don't all come looking like these i handpicked the most ripe ones and you can totally do it in bj's the cashiers never ever stopped me or said that you can do that so whenever i'm there i always change the mangoes that's in the box i make my own box with the mangoes that i think is the ripest so these were only 5.99 for six mangoes amazing deal you can't beat it then i got these mission tortilla wraps so there's 16 of them for 4.29 these are so versatile you can make quesadillas with them you can make breakfast burrito lunch burrito so many things so that's one of my staples that i always get and i got that one this garlic knot for 4.49 i saw it for the first time today so i'm going to give it a try the instruction in the bag said that i have to heat it up in the bag so i really don't know how that's going to work but i'm going to experiment with it Another thing that I saw for the first time in BJ's is this vanilla Swiss roll. This is something that you normally get in the Asian bakery. This was only $4.99. I actually really like it. Whenever I'm in any Asian bakery, I always pick this up. So since I saw it, I picked this up for breakfast. And then I got this triple chocolate mousse cake for $10.99 from BJ's. BJ's bakery section always gets me, but I had this cake before. It's absolutely delicious. So little something just to indulge on and again since i have a big sweet tooth i got this mini cream puffs normally i don't get this one i get the eclairs but this time i got this mini cream puffs these are 7.99 a little trick how to eat this you have to keep this refrigerated but before you eat it put it out bring it to room temperature and then eat that also in the packaging i just noticed it says thaw and serve you can thaw in the microwave, but I really like to keep it outside for a few minutes and then have it naturally thaw. That way it doesn't lose any texture or any taste. And then I got this half and half Leco Lens, um, half and half for $2.49, just to put in my coffee and my chai tea, whichever. And then I also got this Fair Life chocolate milk. I never tried this. This is the first time I got it. This is $3.49. I don't know what was wrong with me today. Everything sweet and dessert-like just, you know, attracted me. So I got this one. Okay, enough of unhealthy stuff. Let's talk about a few healthy things that I got. So the first thing that I got is this mini cucumber, also known as Persian cucumber. And this is only $2.99. And then I got these cauliflower florets for $3.99. I got this for the convenience. Sometimes I get the whole cauliflower, but this was right there. So I picked it up. 
But something that I always get from BJ's is this green peppers. They come in a pack of four for $4.49. Then I got these Wild Wonders tomatoes. They were $5.99, but I used a coupon for $1, so I got it for $4.99. I just really like these colors, and whenever I'm eating my salad, I love seeing all these colors. Another tip that I wanted to share with you guys, right now BJ's is doing completely clipless coupons. Although you are getting the coupons mailed in your house, you have to go into your app and pin them or clip them on your app digitally. Automatically, when you're checking out, it will just take it from there. However, some of the coupons you will not find in the app. So when you go at the register, you can just let the cashier know and they will manually put it for you. That's what the cashier did for me today and that's how I was able to use all my coupons. So something to keep in mind. Moving on, I got this marinated mushroom last time and it was so delicious that I had to pick up another one. You can throw it in your salad, you can just eat it like this, you can do so many things with this. You can also put it in your pasta. This was $5.49. And then I got this taro chips. I really didn't need this chips, but I just love how this chips looks. I forgot how much it was. I believe it was $3.99 or $4.99-ish. But yeah, um, around that price. And this is actually very delicious too. And then I got one of my essentials. I always get, and I'm running low, this Listerine mouthwash. I always get it from there. It comes in a pack of three and it was... $14.99 and it also had a coupon of $2.50 off so that was a really good deal. I had to get it anyway so I grabbed one. And then another thing that I was running low and I needed is this Ziploc bags. The quart bag and the gallon one, I'll probably make a video on how I use the Ziploc bags for meal prepping and whatnot. But there are a variety of these different size bags. They are on Amazon, they are in BJ's and the price is similar last time I checked. So if you guys need any, you guys can also pick it up from Amazon. And then I got this uncooked golf shrimp. I normally don't get the golf shrimp because I don't know what's the difference between the golf shrimp and the normal shrimp. I guess this is a little bit white-ish looking. This was $19.99. I like to get the uncooked shrimp because if you cook shrimp too much, it becomes very like chewy and rubbery. So I always get the uncooked one and this was the only one that was available. So I picked this one up and then I saved the best for the last. I got this tuna steak. It comes in a pack of three for $9.19. It varies by the pound, but I got this because as you guys know, you can't really go outside in a restaurant and sit down and dine in. So I thought maybe I can just throw this in my cast iron skillet and make like a fancy dinner and you know bring the whole ambience of eating out inside so that's what i'm gonna do and yeah that's everything that i got from bj's i hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and you guys stay happy healthy and well i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys